Hello. This video was not planned. Well, I wrote a script for it and I've recorded it and I've edited it. Um, so I have planned it, but I mean, it does not have a Trello card or has been planned in advance. It's something that came to me last night after a stream when I suddenly realized I have been doing everything wrong for the past umpteen years. My name's Inwills, and welcome to the In Crowd. Just looked back on that introduction and noticed that because I'm not stood directly in front of my mic, the, the beginning, what I thought would be a creative intro, is a bit all over the place with the sound, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Just bear with, bear with. So I'm actually wondering at this point why I'm actually making this video now, since I have a multitude of other content creation jobs that need to be completed and my summer vacation finishes on Tuesday, back to full-time work on Wednesday. I do also um, chastise myself for only re realizing what I'm going to talk about today at the end of my vacation because if I had realized this at the beginning of my vacation I could have done a lot more work on it and actually made some progression and I just realized that I recorded all that last segment with my headphones on so I've now taken them off but seriously I do not have time to redo it just just live with it just live with it anyway so I've been a, a streamer for some time now. Indeed, if you actually use the exclamation mark created um, command in my chat, it says that I've had a, a Twitch channel or had a Twitch account for over 10 years. If I look back on my YouTube content, I can see that there's some videos there from, I think, 2015, when I started to stream Tomb Raider um, on the official Xbox One channel. Um, so no matter what, I've been on Twitch and streaming for some time. I always look forward to streaming. I enjoy it immensely. I really like the technical side of it. I like presenting live, I like the community, the viewers, the interaction and the games themselves. But for some time now, I haven't really been experiencing any growth uh, apart from the growth in my beard. I have a fantastic and incredibly loyal community and supporters. And for these, I am always eternally grateful and I am completely happy just to stream to them and I really enjoy that but I also realize that I need to provide something for them and for everyone who comes to the stream and so that I not only keep my existing numbers but also possibly grow I see other streamers growing so well, including people who have just recently got affiliated with Twitch or even just recently started their channels. So why wasn't I growing? It was after last night's stream that I had a, a wake up moment. For the past year, I suddenly realized that I'd been putting no time, energy or even effort into my streaming on a daily and weekly monthly basis well that statement is not quite is, well it's inaccurate i need to rephrase it in order to make it make more to become more applicable to the situation i have been putting i've not been putting any time energy and effort into the preparation for my streams yeah that sounds better 
as I've mentioned before, I spend some time on the technical side of my streams. I spend hours looking for new extensions and gimmicks to use. I use my rather limited creative skills to create overlays and web frames, and I create um, intro videos and sound bites for my channel. But I've actually, and this is what I realized last night, I've actually been neglecting the main feature of all my streams, the actual content. I've read numerous articles about establishing yourself as a streamer and something that appears in every single article and something that I've probably ignored all this time is this concept of value. What am I, as the streamer, the presenter, providing for the viewers? I have, for the past umpteen years, been including this and, or referring to this idea of value in my stock phrase of saying, well, well, after seeing me playing the game, you will feel much better about yourselves because I'm so bad. But this doesn't really cut it. And it didn't cut it in the past. And it certainly should not be a phrase that I'm using in the future. My last Guild Wars 2 stream really brought this home to me. I was, as usual, wandering about, not really knowing what I was doing, wondering why my chat was so quiet, and really sort of like struggling with my stream. In my stream title, I had added, still trying to get my mount, and a completely new viewer offered to support me and show me the way. I said that I would like to, you know, find it myself, but if they could give me a hint, then I would really appreciate it. And so they gave me a hint. The first hint was, you are not even in the right area. Well, worse than that, okay, I was not even in the right or the correct expansion to get the mount. And once I actually started the right storyline in the right expansion, I had my Raptor mount in minutes. Now, I actually played in my 12-hour charity stream, I actually played this game, Guild Wars 2, for something like, what, four hours trying to get my mount and was still in the wrong expansion. And this really demonstrates how I think I'm providing no value at all. I'm just sitting down thinking, oh, 10 minutes to stream, sit down, start the stream, let's blunder our way through it. As you're probably aware, I like mantras to live my life by. And there's a, a really good saying that, and I don't know who says it or in what context it is, but fail to plan plan to fail and this is what's been happening I think over the past years I've failed to plan my streams the actual content what I'm doing and so I've planned to fail you know I haven't made that progress I'm just blundering around hoping and praying that somebody can tell me what to do and I, I just sort of like think that that needs to change. I, I, I rely on my extremely supportive and loyal community members to point me in the direction. But I don't think that should be the case. I should have a good working knowledge of the games I play and stream or what I'm trying to get from them. And I should know what I'm doing on the stream and how to get there. I should have done that prep beforehand rather than taking the approach, oh, I'm really bad at this, ha, 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 ha. I need to be adopting the approach of, I've read up about this and this is how to do it. And if you were stuck like I was, then this is what you need to do. This is a little side note, um, not scripted or anything like that, but it's just when I was putting this video together, I needed to say that I don't want to be a world expert. 
I'm not aiming for that. All I'm aiming for is to demonstrate that I have some understanding of what I'm doing in that in that game or in that even in that stream or those hours. Yeah. Anyway, back to the main video. So, yeah, I'm going to have to make some changes and these changes are going to require for me to work hard at. I've never been very good at understanding games, but I see no reason why that is the case. You know, I can change this and reading up and taking the time, I can understand the the processes or what I need to do. I need to invest time in the games that I'm playing outside my streams and I need to commit time to understanding them or the events or what I'm hoping to do. And this might mean that I need to reduce the number of games I play, but that has to be fine. You know, less games, but more value seems a very valid way forward to me. And there are some games that I might not need to do such an in-depth um, understanding of for example if i'm playing linear games or games like overwatch then you know i don't need to know a huge amount about the game it's more about actually just playing it so from this point onward i'm going to start learning more about the games i stream and i'm going to plan my streaming sessions i'm not going to make endless reams of paperwork or electronic documents just a concise overview of what i'm trying to achieve in that stream so i know what i'm doing and how to progress and i can actually share that and it would be something really positive at the beginning of the stream to state so in this stream this is what i'm trying to do i need and will read up about things before i'm embarking that we're on them on the stream live and start to provide some value at some level it's a tough challenge it really is and there's lots of excuses appearing in my brain as i set myself it but you know let's knock those well i'm going to knock those barriers down and push my way forward i'm happy to give this a go so yeah thank you for all your support over the past few years i really do appreciate it and sticking with me through the ups and downs of my content creation i really do appreciate that i hope it's been interesting to see me develop not only as a content creator but also as a person until next time have fun stay safe stay healthy but most importantly Stay positive. See you all later. Bye.